What's the connection between woolly mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, and dodos? They all perished from extinction. However, some believe humans were mostly to blame. If we were to bring them back to life, would this change our place at the top of the food chain? And is it even possible from a scientific perspective? As science gets closer to reviving extinct creatures through a process called de-extinction, this idea, which was formerly limited to science fiction, is slowly beginning to become a reality. But even with that possibility, don't expect to see dinosaurs. You might wonder why. This restriction is due to the age of the species' DNA, which must be within a specific range in order for the de-extinction procedure to be feasible. Scientists claim that after 1.5 million years, DNA loses its ability to be read, making it essentially useless. Sadly, this implies that dinosaurs, which have been extinct for 65 million years, are not suitable for this experimental project. If the species is young enough and its DNA is readable, scientists can use it to change its genome. One method is to combine the DNA of extinct animals with that of their closest surviving relatives. One species that experts believe has a chance of being saved from extinction is the woolly mammoth. Only 3,600 years ago, there were still small populations of mammoths, and experts believe that this species might have survived if it weren't for human hunting. One possible strategy for bringing woolly mammoths back from extinction is to combine their DNA with that of modern elephants. These hybrid animals may eventually develop into mature mammoths, thus bringing the species back to life. The end effect of this process could be the return of mammoths to the earth, even if it might take several thousand years. If this method works, just picture the earth being repopulated with amazing animals like the majestic 12-foot big short-faced bear, unusual hairless dogs, and the adorable dodo bird. But be careful approaching the resurrected saber-toothed tigers. In terms of wilder notions, bringing back the Neanderthals could be interesting, but given the possible risks, it would be a really foolish idea. They wouldn't last long in the modern world because of the difficulties brought on by our diets, illnesses, and microbes. This holds true for all the other revived animals, as well as Neanderthals. Although flexible in theory, bringing back extinct species has a number of possible problems that may make it more difficult for them to survive. Managing these resurrected species interactions is a critical challenge. One major obstacle is preventing possible problems, such a huge short-faced bear mating with other bears. It could lead to several unidentified problems. What's to stop them from doing it in any case? Though, what exactly is the aim of all this is another issue that science would have to ask. Although riding a woolly mammoth would be incredible, but is it really worth it? What function do these animals provide besides providing us with entertainment? The introduction of these recently recovered species may disrupt current ecosystems and cause other creatures to go extinct. On the plus side, though, de-extinction could help save important modern species that are in danger of going extinct. For example, bees have been threatened with extinction, but if de-extinction technology works, it may provide a way to ensure their continued survival. However, this circumstance raises a worrying possibility. If people start to believe that extinction is reversible, it could encourage carelessness toward the extinction of species, which could result in more hunting and an overall lack of concern for animals globally. Although the idea of bringing extinct animals back to life is fascinating, there are a lot of risks and uncertainties involved. Maybe it would be better to concentrate on protecting the biodiversity we already have and making sure that the mistakes of the past are not made again. What if everything went extinct except for you? However, that's the topic for a different what if video. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment.